Oh, I just come here. We just go in here five minutes. I'm not really good. I'm not gonna pay for that. I just wanna been told by quite a few people that my footwork is atrocious. I was hitting with some dude a few days ago and he literally told me I need to work on my footwork. So here I am working on my footwork. I'm trying not to be caught flat-footed admiring my forehand or backhand and constantly be on the move between shots and also making micro steps adjustments before I strike the ball. I kept looking at my strings because I thought I had broken my strings on this shot. This setup had been in on the racket for about six weeks now, and I had thought that the strings were going to break anytime soon since last week. It ended up breaking the mains today, although looking on the crosses, which was strung with Yonix DynaWire, I had thought the crosses were done for. The slinger bag is loaded up with two boxes of Wilson Trinity balls for a total of 144 balls. When fully loaded, the bag tends to jump up quite often, especially at the beginning when the full load and weight of the balls are pressing down on the hopper. It's good though since it gives me a chance to catch my breath. You can see toward the end of the first half of hitting, I was starting to get gassed. All the steps and micro step adjustments takes far more energy than just uh, casually strolling between shots. Also, I uh, got caught like literally admiring my serves while playing points a few times and the returner just smokes one by me. So I'm also working on getting myself into position after my serve, at least not be just standing with both feet in no man's land thinking I just won the point because my serve made it into the service box. Now, reviewing my video, I realized that my position after the serve is incorrect. I should cheat toward the ad side on serves on the ad side, especially for serves going toward the body or out wide. Looks like I tend to just place myself in the middle of the baseline when I should assume the returner is going to hit across court, especially when playing doubles. The rest of these serves were on the previous generation E-Zone 100 Lite, my old trusty green racket strung with the Yonex Tour Super 850 multi-filament strings. The string job was from last September, uh, before I got my Yonex E-Zone 100. Huge difference in serving with the E-Zone 100 Lite compared to the E-Zone 98 Plus that I use now. 
which is a very hit heavy racket and it's about uh, 10 to 11 percent heavier in bass form i have forgotten how lively the multi-filament strings are compared to the hybrid poly and singut that i use now plus after six plus weeks the strings had lost a ton of elasticity and playability the lighter ezone 100 light does not have the same heft and momentum behind it but the tour super 850 makes up for a lot of the pop or maybe it's because there's no vibration dampener on the Ezone 100 light, so it sounded like there's a lot more pop. But according to video frame analysis, the serves done with the Ezone 98 Plus is still consistently 2 to 5 miles per hour faster. By the way, I don't know what the heck Mizuno were thinking when they introduced this new colorway for the men's Mizuno Wave XZ 204s for 2021. It's a dark blue which I really like, but it's splashed with what I can best describe as stains when I first got these shoes. I thought someone had dropped some uh, creamy stuff on the shoe. Without the stains, the shoe looks gorgeous. It's light and somewhat comfortable certainly a lot lighter than my yonix power cushion eclipsion threes but i still prefer the yonix eclipsions threes boy that's a mouthful those are probably by far the fastest and most comfortable shoes i've ever worn <laughs> 